with the new compact range. We've kept the same design philosophy of not trying to get a small speaker to do bass, but keep it focused on the mid-range and the upper bass. I think the new port on the F5 really cleans up the lower end of its register. It's quite noticeable when the voice fundamental is clearer, and that's one thing that the new port really gives to the F5 there. It's a really useful speaker, just filling in little gaps and doing lots of odd jobs. The F81 is one of my favourites. The integration of the 8-inch and the 1-inch is really, really good. It's totally flat. You could have that as a hi-fi speaker or a studio monitor. The compact range definitely has our Sonic signature, and that's due to using a paper cone mid-range driver doing a wide bandwidth and not asking it to do low frequencies. Because we focus on the mid-range in the design of our compact products, that then leads to the SB8 and the SB10, where we've got a small box that is focused on making low frequencies, but not mid-range. So then by combining those two things together, you get a really nice full-range system that's got our signature mid-range clarity and definition, but then also the bass punch and dynamic as well. What you don't see from looking at it is that the 101 is as loud as a lot of 12-inch or bigger PA speakers. I've done full live bands on two F101s and a PR115, and it was really good. It's a really useful speaker where you need it to be really loud, but from quite a small box. When you want the quality of the 81, but you need more level. So the 1201, I think, has probably benefited the most from the new port design. That's really improved the low frequency response and output. Now I think you could really use it as a standalone speaker for a lot of jobs. Personally, I was really surprised. I was always under the impression that ports affected bass, you know, that ports affected the resonance of the driver. But the more we go into it, the more we realise that everything affects everything. And actually, when the driver's sat there happy in the cabinet, everything gets better. This new port has enabled us to get right up to that sharp edge. Previously, we offered the compact range with an option of connectors, either being the Phoenix install connector, which is very cost effective, or the NL4 connector. What we've managed to do is build both of those into the same panel. So all cabinets have both options always. When it comes to installs, the existing yokes will all fit the new 0.2 versions. All the wall brackets will as well. For the 1201, we've got a slightly extended wall bracket because it stands a little bit further off the wall. That makes it really easy for our installers who might already carry stock of accessories. It's like lots of small improvements and small changes that then all come together and then bring the whole thing up and really brought everything up to the next level.